Hey guys, what's going on? It's Daily Tactics here, and I am back with another episode of the Men of War Assault Squad 2 Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. And we're continuing to work on that Balmora trilogy that we have been doing. That may end up being more than a trilogy because this is the third episode, and I still think there's a lot of potential to be done on this map. Um, but in the previous episode, we had Wolf in this military super base over here uh, along with Plo Koon and they're still alive they both were knocked out in the previous battle but they've reassembled their forces and are prepared actually this time around to launch an attack against the separatist base over here that went pretty much untouched during the entirety of the last battle um, because the clone forces weren't strong enough to really do a full assault on it after they had been pretty crushed by the uh, the droid onslaught so that battle ended in a draw um, but now wolf has gathered his forces over here um, along with an ATTE and a group of speeders who are going to be preliminary units and they're going to launch a fierce attack against this uh, battle droid base over here and they have backup coming in from over here. Commander Millis is coming in with some of the 327 Star Corps. They're going to be launching an attack from this side and eventually joining in with Wolf's troopers over here as they sally forth from their military base this way. The defenders are, of course, the battle droids here um, who have reinforced. And General Grievous, who was in the first battle with uh, Commander Trauma, uh, he's made a return to the battlefield in this episode. So uh, we'll be expecting some action from the the mad general himself uh, and the battle droids have also retaken this military base over here which was in the previous episode captured by commander trauma but trauma's units were completely wiped out so the droids were free to basically re-inhabit it with uh, little to no problems so it should be a very fun battle i'm very excited to get this thing going so um without further ado guys i'll be right back and we'll get this thing started Alrighty then you bad Larrys, let's go ahead and press start here and the clone trooper army should be making its way forward and that they are and almost instantly taking fire from the battle droids. Uh, their speeders being the first to sort of uh, launch this attack, a few of them going down very early but they are getting a lot of shots off at the battle droids, hopefully they're softening up the battle droid lines. The ATTE coming in second here. Uh, firing away a little bit with its main photon cannon as well as its smaller cannons at the very front of this behemoth of a tank. Look at this thing go. Um, very, very powerful tank. And it's going up against three AATs as well as some turrets here, although this turret's down already. So is this turret. Okay, all three turrets are down, so uh, I suppose they won't be helping out too much in this battle, but there are still three AATs and a whole heck of a lot of infantry defending this. Uh, initial military base here. This is truly a very large-scale base, not to mention a few Geonosha's blasters that the uh, the battle droids seem to have adapted for their own here. They decided during the Battle of Geonosis, hey, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, just just use them for the rest of the Clone Wars. Plo Koon coming on forward with Commander Wolf, the two leaders uh, sort of being the vanguard of the army here, leading uh, by example. Very well done. Always, always like to see that. Um, and they... ATT! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see that. Oh, that's disastrous. Oh, my goodness. That could seriously um, cause some... <laughs> the entire thing just turtled over. So much for all-terrain vehicle. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a major setback for the clone troopers. Um, one of the AATs is down. Oh, look at General Grievous out here with a sniper rifle coming forward. One of the AATs is down, but there's still two more that the clones are going to have to take out uh, without the assistance of a tank of their own. That is so dreadful. This could totally ruin the battle. Oh, there's also some shadow troopers I forgot to mention in the battle, too. Uh, they were just in the very back lines. I should have mentioned that. But yeah, there's some shadow troopers in here that will be joining in the fight. And the clones begin to get absolutely pounded by these AAT fire. Oh, no. This is so bad. Oh, these rocket troopers need to get forward. They need to be killing these things. Oh my goodness, this could be it. Where's Commander Millis? Commander Millis's men seem to all be over here. 
There's Commander Millis himself. They don't seem to be attacking right now. <laughs> Similar strategy to what Trauma did in the last battle, if you remember correctly. Oh no! These clones are stuck in no man's land with zero armor support. This is so bad. Wait, let me fix the camera real quick. Ah, much better. Much, much better. Oh, there's Commander Wolf. Commander Wolf, way up here. Uh, still leading the way, quite successfully, I'd say. I mean, he's a, he's a brave soldier. Don't know what happened to Plo Koon. Could have gone down at some point. Um, I just don't see him at the moment, sadly. Hopefully Plo Koon's still alive. It'd be nice to see him still, still about. Are any of these turrets still alive, I wonder? This one's dead. And this one's dead. Okay, so the clones have that going for them at the very least. That's something. General Grievous still sort of out in the in the center of the battlefield. That's a, that's a little sus there, but uh, he's confident. He's gained confidence after seeing that ATTE just going down hard. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Um, oh, my goodness. They're getting closer to the AATs, which is a very good thing. Um, because that means they'll they'll get more fire onto them. Oh no, Commander Wolf, he got hit by some sort of a rocket there. He's still alive, that's good. Yeah, Wolf, just chill, just chill. You don't have to always be on the on the forefront there, buddy. Oh, he's going for it again. He goes down. That was it for Commander Wolf, and more laser fire coming on in hot for these clones. Great Scott. This is such a disaster for the Wolf Battalion. Or Wolf Legion. The Wolf Pack. Strong Wolf Pack. The 104th. Um, this is no bueno. Oh, dear goodness. The second that ATT went down without taking out more than one of the AATs is when you knew things were about to get very, very dicey. Extraordinarily so. Bruh. You've got two rocket troopers right up here. Oh, General Grievous, what are you doing? Look at Grievous here. Oh! Oh! He's just gone. Oh my goodness. Oh! He's still there. Oh, now he's dead. And Placoon's there, too. Wait, all three leaders died in the same spot. Wolf's right here. Grievous and Placoon. Weird. Okay. Um, meanwhile, the last of the clones are slowly getting beaten up hard. Shadow Troopers actually retreating a little bit. Probably the smartest decision to do. Maybe reconvene with Millis' troops? I don't know, man. I mean, the clones are still putting up some fire. Maybe they can kill a few more droids here, but the wolf pack is in shatters. These two AATs, man. They are... Brutal! Brutal, brutal. There's still also droids on the ground, too, which is not very helpful. Where's Millis at? Is he still around here? He is. Most of his troopers are just crammed against these rocks. Maybe they're trying to climb them? I don't know about that. They'll, they'll get back on track when the, when the things settle down over here. It's just the AI being derps. Dude, you gotta help out, man. Here. You, sir, with the thing, go forward. You got... Okay, he's dead. <laughs> it was a sad little attempt there. Oh, Plo Koon's body blew up. That's an oof. That is an oof. Oh, my goodness. This is, uh... This is sad. This is real bad. Huh. I'm wondering if we should give the um, Millis's troopers maybe a TX-130T or something like that. We've got clankers. Uh, there we go. Now they're they're moving out once more. Ah no! These guys started fighting again. As long as these guys don't fire a shot, Millis's troopers will come forward. Um, that's just the problem is they they get spooked by the fire and they run to the rocks basically. There's actually a good number of Wolf's troopers left alive. I, I was kind of surprised. I think a lot of them might have been hiding out in nooks and crannies and things like that. But they've slightly come out of the woodwork here. 
slightly. Hmm. All right. We're gonna. I know I'm. I'm gonna do a little a little thing here for the clones. No, nope, I'm not. I was gonna say maybe we could hop them in one of those turrets, and that would make sense because you know they could probably operate one of those things. And if it's still alive, why not? But there's just no way to get a trooper there. If this tank hadn't failed us, if this tank hadn't been the worst thing in the world, my goodness, they might have had a shot. They really might have. I don't know. I don't think they can kill these eight uh, AATs. Huh. All right. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. I know. Backlash incoming in the in the comment section, but reinforcements have arrived. All right, Commander Millis. Oh, he's he's finally coming forward, kinda ish. Not really. Um, give me a four, your best commanders. Toss him in there. Get him going. How'd this guy end up in here? Get back on the battlefield, soldier. All right, Millis's troopers are coming forward now, which is, is good to see. And we have given them an ATT just to spice things up because there's no way infantry will get past two AATs alone. Um, so we basically just watch, watch clones die. So I didn't think that'd be very fun. So we're giving Millis an ATT. -E. They can do what they like with it. This is the last reinforcements that, well, the only reinforcement I will be giving to the clone troopers. Um, so if they do not use it wisely, then for shame. Will it fit through this? I think it will. Um, so there you go. Republic was kind enough to send a little bit of reinforcements for Millis's troopers. There's Millis himself in the middle of his 327th pack here. A um, few soldiers, in fact, running on forward. Uh, there's a few shadowed troopers back here, still alive. Very good. And a, a few wolf pack members alive as well. Um, so the the fight's not over for the wolf pack. They're, they're still present on the field. They're still representing. I mean, it takes a lot to kill the wolf pack. Even the malevolence couldn't do it. I mean, and that thing was a behemoth, so I don't expect this to be the end of the world back days. No, far from it. All right, here comes the ATT. Oh, it is stuck here. Just, there you go, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay, it's okay. I accidentally killed a crew member, so we'll just uh, toss another guy in there. There you go. Waltz on four. Don't make the mistake, same mistakes as your brother over here. My goodness. Here we go. Millis's own troopers uh, choosing to attack from the right instead of the center where uh, the wolf pack attacked from for the most part. So maybe this little change up might do some good for the for the clone army. It might help out a little bit. He does not have nearly as many troopers as the wolf pack though. Um, but then again, the wolf pack did soften up the enemy defenses as well. So subsequently, um, the battle should be on sort of the same fairness levels. Um, as the wolf pack had going for him. And there goes an AAT. Very nice. ATTE already proving its metal in the battlefield. Oh, and the other AT AAT is already down as well. Very good. Well done, ATTE. Well done indeed. Um, but the, uh, the 327 Star Corps over here is still getting just brutally, brutally shot up by these battle droids. Um, taking a lot of losses over here as they sort of mount over this hill. Uh, this is a, a very much so a no man's land, a death zone, and it, it's not turning out too well. At least they're getting a solid amount of fire out though, so their battle's not over yet. They've still got a good opportunity to, um, to take the advantage here and, and persevere forward to, to take over this military base, but they've still got to attack this military base over here. I genuinely don't think the clones have, are going to have this battle in the bag. Um, not to mention, I don't know if the ATT is going to be able to fit through there. It's a pretty thick daddy. It's pretty chonk. It's already getting itself stuck over here. I'm not going to help it any more than I've helped by giving them an ATT. So this is it for the clones. They're, they're getting no more help. Ooh, big explosion there. What was that from? Was that from a rocket trooper, maybe? must have been, right? What is that from? Or is that the ATT? No, it's facing the other way. Genuinely, I'm, I'm kind of confused as to where those explosions are deriving from. Because I 
don't know. I don't see a rocket trooper. But where are those explosions coming from? Um, still a lot of battle droids actually left alive outside of the um, military base as well. Just sort of behind these rocks and behind these hills here. So these guys will put up a nice little fight as well. And then on the interior, um, there's quite a number of battle droids in, in pretty good positions to uh, lock down some good fire and, uh, and take out quite a number of of clone troopers in choke point positions as well. Oh, a whole lot of the 327th going down, cresting up over this hill early on uh, before even entering into the battle station. Sad, sad. This is tough. There's Commander Millis. He's still alive in the middle of the pack. There's quite a number of shadow troopers alive too, and I see a few uh, scattered wolf pack members. So we've got a uh, virtual United Nations here. Very nice. This uh, little battle droid here getting a nice little cheeky kill. Oh, he's going to yeet a grenade too. Very nice. Well done. Hey, props to this battle droid, man. Oh, and he felled it an entire tree all by himself. Wow. Impressive. There's another one of those explosions. Where is that coming from? <laughs> Genuinely quite confused where those explosions are happening from. All right, this is the last remaining clone troopers. Uh, as you can see, their numbers have considerably dwindled. That ATTE is kind of stuck back here on a bunch of tank traps and stuff, so it's basically immobilized. And like I said, I'm not going to be moving it forward. Um, battle droids from the interior of the base engaging with the clone troopers a little bit, uh, getting a nice little kill there. And as more clones pop in here, they should be able to get at least a few more. Though those clones are actually managing to enter in pretty nicely. These droids aren't actually putting up nearly as much of a resistance in this entrance way as I thought they would. That's kind of surprising. I thought they would clear them out. There's also a few battle droids up on these ramparts still too. Oh, clones aren't actually even going to enter into this area. They seem to just choose to go this way instead. Oh! Quick little kill there. Well, you guys still have to take this base, so let's redirect some clones this way because they... They still need to pop in this this area too, so uh, we'll just let them do that real quick. Then they can get back to heading heading the way they want to, following the waypoints. I guess I did the waypoints a little too early. One clone going down there pretty easily, um, but that should divert the rest of the clone army to this this area here, and that it is, that it is. All right, more filtering their way on here. Um, no one's up here, so you guys don't really need to worry about up here. So it's, uh, it's more of these these droids in here. Come on, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. Uh, there's also two up here, though, that they, they'll they need to take out before they can claim this base as their own. Ooh, this clone going in and kapuyaing a droid to death. Very nice. Good sacrifice there. There's still about six more droids. About a squad of droids remaining. Another clone enters on in here. He's got the grenade drawn. Shadow Trooper also going in. Grenade Warfare a little bit. Shots take out the remaining clones, bro. They do manage to get a droid kill there. Actually, two droid kills. There's only three droids remaining in this um, area now, so that is certainly less good. Um, I just heard a droid die. I'm not sure from where, though. More clones coming on into this base area. These droids don't seem to notice them. That's a lot of clones. They're not going to be able to do it. Yeah. Oh, but they did get a nice grenade off. Look, Commander Wolf. Or sorry, Commander Millis uh, was entering in on on in there, but didn't didn't take the cake. Um, okay, last two droids up here. We'll send uh, these two clones to deal with them, uh, and then you guys can can get back to your mission with these clones who seem to be paving the way forward. ATTE still stuck on those tank traps back there. Oh, they're they're just gonna go for the cheeky grenade. Although one of them does die right there. Grenade goes off over that way. Well, nice job. Good good job handling those droids. Very nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> this might not be the final time the ATTE helps the clone army, though. Look at this. Well, it's stuck on those tank traps. That's hilarious. All right, here comes another clone getting gunned down at the staircase there. Well done, droids. But they are getting shot from the exterior, though, a little bit. These guys over here not giving up on their fellow brothers just yet. Oh my god, lots of clones up here dying. Wow! These two droids have killed five clones so far. Sorry about my squeaky desk, by the way. It's, it seems extra squeaky, this video. Maybe I need to reposition it or something. Don't mean for it to be squeaky, of course. 
All right, these droids holding this staircase. Five kills to their name. Another clone comes up, and this guy quickly clapping them. Grenade getting thrown. Oh, this is it, though. Yeah, those droids did end up going down. Oh, but grenade's getting thrown. Wait, there's another droid over here. <gasps> I had no idea. He did go down, though. But not before taking out more clones, including one down here. Oh, no. That guy's still alive. Okay. But, wow, these these guys had a heck of a... Have a heck of a run there. Well done, well done. All right, now the clones. After they've finally taken this base here and taking more losses in doing so, look at that, all that yellow is dead clones from just attacking that base. Now, Commander Millis can take the remainder of his force and uh, go attack this base over here. There are outskirt defenses for the droids. There's a couple over here. Um, there are some behind these rocks, some over here, some over here and some over here quite a sizable force actually oh and the first clone engaging with them over this way oh sorry there was actually another clone that engaged with them too um he died promptly but this one's sort of chilling in this water barrel um taking some fire himself but also delivering some he ends up going down didn't manage to cop a, a droid kill there but he is dead um it also sort of acted as a preliminary warning system for the rest of these clones that they might be walking into a trap here and to be careful uh there is a wolf uh pack trooper right there two shadow troopers and the rest are 327 star Corps. so still a little bit of representation from everyone just not a ton another clone going very very far forward he knows the droids are there he manages to get a quick kill on one of them but he does end up going down the rest of the clones back there though begin to fire um the rest of the droid army though also firing at, to, at these clones from their defensive positions um looks like this engagement will be a long distance one and um clone dc 15a weapons will of course be um pretty optimal for this battle but the droids also might have some modified E5s. Also, the E7 sniper rifle will be quite good in this instance if they have any of those at their disposal here. So both sides definitely still have some tricks up their sleeves, even for a long-distance engagement like this. So I'd say it's fairly even right now. All right, silence befalls the battlefield as the clones begin to move in on these guys, define, defending this sort of refinery thing-ish thing right here. Um, there's about six or seven clones over, or sorry, droids over here. They might be able to hold for a little bit. I don't know for how long, but oh, they're also getting backed up from these guys over here. Very nice. Let's see, a couple more clones going down. Lots of grenades going out. Ooh, that clone got evaporated by a grenade. <laughs> Hate to see it. Yeah, they're moving in on these droids. No holds bar. Another clone going down right there. But the clone's wrapping around both sides. Let's see if that has any effect. Nope, both sides still being held by these droids. If they just tossed a, a cheeky little grenade right there, that would be so good. <gasps> oh, I don't know if these clones are going to be able to get away. Oh my goodness, and it blew up the tube. It blew up that explosive crate. That took out so many clones, including a 104th Battalion Wolfpack Trooper. Oh my goodness, that was so good. I want to see, wait... Which droid did that throw? This guy, he had 10 kills from that grenade. That is insane. Ho! Oh, that couldn't have lined up more perfectly for the battle droids right there. Honestly, that was beautiful. Clone still pushing over here, still getting chopped down by these uh, last few droids over this way. Ooh, that one getting grenaded rather cheekily. Cheeky, cheeky. Oh, clones getting a nice little grenade off. That could be it for these droids. Yep, they all go down. The clones do manage to take this position. Um, but also, one of the highest death rates um, of this entire battle right here. I mean, there's like a ton of clones dead right there. Wow, that droid deserves a promotion, a medal. He, he deserves to just go retire and live his days in, I don't know, what, what's somewhere a droid would like? The car wash. Getting infinite car washes. <laughs> I don't know. There's still a lot of droids left alive. Lots behind these rocks here. They could do some damage. Also some behind those rocks over there engaging with these clones a little bit more. But the clones seem to be pushing the initiative pretty nicely. Um, they could certainly still win this. 
There's a chance. There's a chance. It's slimming as their casualty really grow. These casualties are certainly going up for the clone troopers. Um, but if there's a will, there is a way. That's what I always say. I made that up. I made up that. Set. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, these droids' positions getting very quickly overrun. They put up very little resistance there. Um, yeah, a couple clones going down, but not too much. Droids in the military base itself beginning to engage a bit. Not bad. There's quite a number of droids in this in this military base, though. That's gonna be a tough take. And there's still some on the outskirts here. Still managing to peg a few of these clone troopers. Still a surprising number of shadow troopers left alive, too. Alright, I wonder if these clones are stuck here. They could have gotten themselves stuck, actually. Not fully sure. Oh, more clones getting caught here by a lot of droid fire and going down in droves right here. Really, really tough spot. Here they come. Big oof right there. But they seem to have a good high ground position now and they're keeping these last few remaining droids at bay, getting a, getting a few kills there, which is nice. Let's see, are there any droids over here? There are still two droids over there. Um, none back there. There's one right there and there's about th uh, four right there. So there's still some droids present up here on these ramparts. There's two left alive. And then there's about six here and another six down here and maybe five there. So I think the droids might actually outnumber the clones now and they have the defensive position. Um, so if the clones stagger their troopers, there's no way they win this. But if they fight in a pack and they really utilize their numbers as a whole, Enemy then then I think they might have it. They might have an opportunity here. They're getting caught in some crossfire here. Another clones goes down, but they do manage to eliminate a couple of droids back there. Um, they're also engaging with uh, these droids that are around this corner here. One with an E5 firing at them. Oh, but they all end up dying. There goes that shadow trooper right there. There might only be one shadow trooper left alive. Yeah, there's one back here. Gosh, golly. These poor clones. There's also three clone troopers back here still alive, so we'll just send them forward. They might as well join their unit. Um, kind of unclear what's up with Commander Millis. Are these guys stuck? Do you want to just... I think the explosion might have gotten them just stuck in that rock, so we'll just open it up for them so they, they're free to move. Um, there's no point in keeping them trapped there. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to Commander Millis in all of this. Um, perhaps he died back here somewhere? Or maybe in the grenade explosion? Because he was certainly alive before this assault Watch began. All over again. Not fully sure. I don't think he's still alive. I don't see him anywhere. Unless he's one of these three we're bringing up. He is not, though. So Commander Millis is definitely down. Just don't know where that happened. I do not know. Let me know in the comment section if you did end up seeing Commander Millis going down. Unless that's him right there. No, that's not come. him. Yeah, let me know if you if you witnessed him going down, because I'd I'd be curious to know. Alright, these clones being very, very careful this time around. They they're not messing around. Um couple of shots getting fired. Not really connecting with any droids here. Droids have ample cover. This one... Oh, nice! Good shot from that clone. Though he does go down from droid fire. These clones seem to be focusing on the droid ramparts over there now. They're taking it very, very carefully, which I can't blame them. They, they've got one shot to win this battle now. Um, and it is coming down to the wire. Really, really close. Yeah, take a break to heal. There's only hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clones. And three droids on the outside here, and maybe ten in ten, fifteen inside. So more more droids than clones for sure. That's a fact. That is known. Let's see. Clones know they're right there. 
I don't know if these three droids will honestly get a kill. They kind of have a back to the wall position here. Not not a good defensive position. They they kind of got themselves stuck into a suppressed suppressed mode basically. And the clones are just going to be able to creep up on them unless the clones make a mistake or they might get a nice grenade off. I don't know if they're smart enough to do that, but the gren Oh. Not oh, nice. That, wow. That was like tactfully done. Whew. All right, now the clones are marching on the base here. Let's see, we still got one droid up on the ramparts. He seems to be holding his fire, though. Six here. These guys are all still alive. There's some over there. Where are you guys going? What? <laughs> Those guys don't know what they're doing. Oh. No one's noticed the droids over here. One droid open firing. He gets a nice grenade off. Nice. Oh, another grenade going off this way. That one actually connects with a clone. He might still be alive. He is. These clones over here are still alive, though they, they are taking a break to heal. They did manage to kill that droid. Where are you clones going? No, no, no. You, you don't get to run away from this. You gotta, you gotta join the pack. Let's get the final push going. We're, we're verging on a 30 minute video here. I think we are on a 30 minute video here. All right, one clone going down, the other two joining in, trying to match these droids, but one getting gunned down. Now they're sort of wary behind this corner. Not quite doing anything. The other three coming forward. They're getting some nice shots off. They get it. Ooh, that's a really good grenade, but the droids counter grenade. Ooh, that grenade really dislodged the droids from their position, but that droid grenade also got a lot of clone kills. Um, so all these droids on the ground floor here are dead, but there's still six or so on the ramparts there. Shadow Trooper and two 327 Troopers left alive. Shadow Trooper goes for an attack, tries to go up the stairs, but gets gunned down. Droids throw some grenades. They're not very effective. That's okay. The other two, one clone coming on up. Oh, and he gets gunned down. The other on the ground also dies. So the droid defense ended up working for this battle, and the clone suffered a defeat, but uh, just barely, just barely. There's one clone left alive over here, actually. Oh, he's stuck. I see. All right, you get to live to tell the tale. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, oh, and there's the ATTE, but it's stuck on tank traps over here. Um, and I didn't want to, you know, since we already gave it as a reinforcement i didn't want to use it for the rest of the battle because that'd be kind of cheap you know so i wanted to keep it fair uh let's see the losses here for the clones and the battle droids so blue are dead clone or sorry yeah, there's no blue yellow are dead clones somehow a clone died over here i'm not sure about that oh i might have killed him by accident when moving the 327th tank um all right, wolf pack. Oh, and keep in mind, uh, yeah, there's like helmets and guns strewn about, but no bodies. That's because a tank ran over the body. So there were deaths back here as well. Um, and probably some more up here that are just gone. Uh, but as you can see, the wolf pack, I think, is the ones who suffered the most losses out here. 327th stood to the right more, and they, they took some losses over here. Um, they lost actually quite a number attacking the immediate base over this way. Maybe 20 or so troopers. Um, they didn't have that many to spare, though, and that's the main problem. Yeah, they lost quite a number of troopers. Maybe Millis died up here. I just don't know where Millis went down. Oh, that's Millis right there. Millis did end up going down up here. That's crazy. Okay, I didn't even notice, along with the Shadow Trooper. Um, so, yeah, the clones took a lot of trooper deaths in that base itself. Then out here, this was a disaster. This shouldn't have happened. They should have been able to kill those droids, but they, they failed hard. Um, out here, lots more clone death. This was tough. And then in here, this was like they didn't have enough to do it. They really didn't, and they failed. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come and subscribe if you did. Let me know if you'd like to see um, a part four to this quote-unquote trilogy. Now it's a quadrilogy. And then it could be a quintilogy and a... Hmm, what's six? Hextilogy? Or is Hex? No, that'd be, yeah. Hextilogy, then a Septilogy, then an Octilogy. Oh, so many Tilogies. <laughs> so let me know, guys. Um, thanks so much.
And, oh, this guy's investigating over here. Do I just Rambo with him since he's already made his way over here this way? Why not? We'll try Ramboing. Yeet, 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 yeet. The yeet gun. No, he got yoke. He got yoke. All right, guys. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to 1,000 followers. Thanks so much. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.